I'm Justin Lima. And I'm Taylor Larson. And you're watching Eagle Eye News. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Last week concluded the third week of Eagles Wellness Challenge with a tie for first place. Vienna Disciplinaries are still at the top, now tied for first with the squad. Lou Radley's friends and the Mighty Muffins follow close behind. Check your email for full rankings. Nominations for the 2015 Jim McKay Award are now open through the end of the day today. Nominate a teacher, employee, guidance counselor, or anyone you think is deserving of the award. Email Rosie Rancone at er127 at spcglobal.net to submit your nominees. There are several big college visits coming up after spring break. George Williams will be March 30th, and University of Illinois Springfield and the University of Wisconsin Whitewater will be April 1st. Stop by Student Services for a pass if you're interested in attending. Congratulations to the math team for their accomplishments at the ITCM Regionals, the Oral Team, Calculator Team, Algebra 2 Team, Junior Senior 8 Person Team, and Colin Anderson all qualified for state. Best of luck to all the competitors. So how did you get to Worlds? I got to Worlds by competing at the National Baton Throwing Championships at Notre Dame this past July. And I qualified by um, making it in the top three out of the 0 to 16 division. And do you have any goals for yourself? Um, my goals for myself is to place first for both my rhythmic and solo, and to at least uh, represent the United States. And how do you think Worlds would go for you? Um, I think Worlds will go very well for me, considering I've been practicing very much, and, um, you know, I think the hard work and dedication that I've put into will really go Great job to all the performers at Lake's annual Jazz Night last night. In other fine arts news, several students in the choral department earned four Best of Day awards at the Solo and Ensemble Contest on March 7th. And Chamber Choir received their first perfect score on their piece. Congratulations to Elizabeth Mees, Joanne Gorski, Lucy Dunlock, and all the members of Chamber Choir. Lakes is proud to announce its first annual Writers Week taking place March 30th through April 2nd. This week-long event will provide students with the opportunity to listen to and work with industry professionals that will show students creative ways to tell a story. Performers include rap artist Roy Kinsey, photographer and videographer Jeremy Woodavine, comic book writer Andy Schmidt, Second City, and NPR Community Bureau's editor, Derek John. Presentations will take place 1 through 3rd, 7th, and 8th hour in the auditorium. Workshops one-on-one -on -one with a professional will happen during lunch hours in room C106. Go to lchswritersweek.com to register. Now here's a look at what's new in sports this week. <laughs> Hey Eagles, this is Andy Olson, and this is what happened in sports last week here at Lakes. We would like to congratulate the boys basketball team in a fantastic season. They played in the sectional finals and fell to St. Patrick last Friday night. The team finished with 19 wins and 13 losses. This is arguably Lakes' best season in the school's short history. Ethan Sage and Ellie Havlin are nominated for Buffalo Wild Wings Athlete of the Month. You are allowed to vote once a day, including weekends. Be sure to vote early and vote often. Boys track won the St. Charles Invite this past week, and girls track finished in fourth place last weekend. That's all we have for sports this week. Let's send it over to Roll Rush. Aloha, Eagles! It's Frank. Spring Break! Before we even start, we want to give a big shout out to the boys basketball team for making it to the Sweet 16 in the IHSA competition for only the second time in school history. We're so proud of you. Also, congratulations to Garrett Clark for qualifying for the state competition in the three-point contest. A lot of big events coming up over spring break. We got girls varsity track at 4 o'clock at the Lake Michigan Invite, and boys baseball at 4.30 is teeing off against Crystal Lake. 
Also, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we got a boys track meet at Kenosha Bradford. And our Lady Eagles are going up to Florida for their softball trip, and they have quite a few games. Make sure to catch some rays. Boys baseball is going on their spring break trip to St. Louis, boys. Good luck. It's spring break. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see you all in two weeks. Get a nice tan. If you have anything you feel like should be on Eagle Eye News, go to lakestewmedia.com and click Announcement Requests. Submit your ideas for a chance to see them aired on a future broadcast. I'm Taylor Larson. And I'm Justin Nebo. See you next week.